Are you trying to learn a new skill but you feel lost? Are you confused with so much information you see and you have the feeling that you haven't been making much progress even though you are constantly looking for answers? Or perhaps you're trying to start a big life project but you feel overwhelmed when you see all of the things that you still need to do. If you relate to any of that, you're probably making a mistake that many people do. I'll tell you what this mistake is and how you can get out of this inefficient cycle so that you can finally master this skill or bring this project to life. When we try to learn or create something new, we are so excited with the novelty that we try to find information about that everywhere we can. We search for it in books, in articles, in social media, in videos, podcasts, everywhere you can imagine. And we all know that it's never been easier to access all of this information. The problem is that we end up absorbing so much content that there's no clear structure for our brain to capture all of that. There's no clear beginning, middle section or conclusion. You might read a book or watch a video on YouTube explaining how to do something with structure. You might think, okay, this person explained me really well and there is a beginning, a middle and a conclusion. I see where it is. Yes, there's a lot of good content out there, but the problem is that we try to find all of the sources, yeah, we try to reach to all of those people and see all of that content all at once. And it's too much for our brain to process all of that information. And inside of our head, then it's difficult to form this progression and to really understand where it starts and where it ends. We end up with information overload because that's just too much for us to process in a very short period of time. Secondly, we might get inconsistent information. So when we look for answers in different places all at once, they might tell you the same thing, but they have different ways of explaining or they use different metaphors or they show you a different illustration of something which makes you even more confused. And lastly, we might end up with a very basic understanding of a certain skill or subject. It's really great that on the internet we have access to all of these sources and all this information, but not everything that we see go really deep into a certain subject. Some things, they're just superficial and we end up with a very shallow processing and understanding of that. At this point, you're probably asking, all right, how do we get out of this? The answer is simpler than you think. Select one reliable source to get the information that you need and to go through and then master this skill. You're gonna choose one person or one book or one course or one method to follow and focus on mastering one concept at a time. Don't try to learn everything at once. I've been there, yeah. I made this mistake before that I was so excited with a new idea that I had that I tried to find information everywhere and I saw myself listening to podcasts and reading books and seeing videos on YouTube and reading all of the articles that I could and spending so much time on my day on that. And I didn't even have time to practice, to take any action in my life. I noticed that this was wrong and I saw the cause of the problem. I changed my behavior and I chose one method. And whenever I did that in my life, that's when I really made progress in the things that I needed to. This is how I finally made meditation a habit. I chose one person to follow and one method. I really understand how this works now. If you're curious, I follow Dr. Joe Dispenza for my meditations. I've already mentioned uh, Dr. Joe in other videos here in the channel. Secondly, for YouTube, I am here talking to you in this video because of one single person. I've always loved Matt Diavella, he's a YouTuber. And a couple of years ago, he released his YouTube course. And I thought, oh my God, this is my best chance because he's a person that I really admire on YouTube and he's teaching how to do this. I'm gonna stop listening to everyone else. So I found the right person and I just brought this to life and just came to YouTube because of him. And I followed his process and then just stopped listening to what everyone else was saying because there are so many ways of creating a channel, of making it grow. But I chose one method 
to follow. Another example I have is with coaching. I'm a certified coach. And when I became a coach in 2020, I did four full courses of my favorite coach at that moment. And I follow his method until now. So when we make one choice, it's much easier for our brain to process all of that. You will need to stop the information influx, even if it means that you have to unfollow people, you have to unfollow creators or authors that you just chose not to learn from. Or if you think it's necessary, you might delete some social media apps just so that it doesn't distract you and that you can really focus on the content that is relevant and on the content that is structured. What will happen from that point on is that you're going to have much more information retained. You're going to have more focus because you're going to absorb enough information. Plus, you're going to have more time to put this in practice and not just leave the theory or the theoretical side you're gonna have the practical side as well. Information is great, but we shouldn't try to handle it all at once. From my own experience, I know that this is the best solution to avoid being overwhelmed and to really master a certain skill. Now, tell me in the comments what type of skill that you're trying to learn. Thank you and see you very, very soon.